Okay. This is big blue button. Okay. Wherever you go in Malaysia to teach, or if you want to teach, for example, you are teaching co-teaching with a lecture in UPM, USM, Trengganu, UMT, you can actually use big blue button to talk to them because they have the big blue button as well. Okay. So big blue button is a teaching system. Now you click try it now and you can all register for a big blue button account because it is free. There is no payment involved in this, it is just a gateway for educators. Okay, and then you sign up, so Zul will sign in. Okay, and then you, si you can sign in with your Google account. Okay, and then you have your, he will sign in with his account. Now this is what's called a big blue button. Okay, what it does, it sets up a classroom. The classroom is not real; it is virtual. But wherever your student, for example, if you are trying to do a lecture, when the students are away, they can actually attend this lecture from their respective device. They can be on a handphone. They can be on a, any device. Okay, we will show you how it's set up. Okay, so Zul is going to set up a classroom. So we are going to set up a classroom called. FSS, but so mute users when they join, click otherwise it will create feedback, always do this and require more, no, 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 okay, click this, allow, no, 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 we should not users join, okay, okay, create room. Okay, now how do you reach this class? You reach this class via the URL, it gives you a URL to reach this class. Okay, we will go into this class, okay, Zul will copy this URL, copy the URL, okay, and go back to smart tree, okay. Now in this, you can actually add big blue button. So it add an activity or resource, and then you can add big blue button. There is no need to uh, do any other function. No need to share code, WhatsApp, nothing. It's straight away in the system. So big blue button, add, and then you set your class. Okay, you set your class. So if you are doing your normal replacement class, nine to eleven, you can set the time nine to eleven. The class is only open nine to eleven, not after that. Okay, so you set up the class, virtual classroom name. You can call it demo one. Just call it FSS. Just give any random name. Okay, demo one. Send notification. Okay, I'll explain to you why. Activity room settings, record setting. Okay, so activity room setting is hello, welcome to this lecture. You can give your lecture synopsis here and hello, learning outcome. Okay, and wait for moderator. Don't don't click here because this is outside the recording sessions, recording settings. Okay, no settings, so participant can record. Okay, all participants are okay. And now we need to set up the s uh, schedule. So schedule is schedule for this session. Set, set the time. What's the time now? Ten. Ten. Ten right? So it set it up ten zero five. So it make it ten zero zero kosong kosong, and then zero zero kosong. Otherwise it will not allow. Okay, enable this. Okay, join close. Okay, don't don't click anything. Okay, go up, go up to that. Okay, you click, you copy, uh, you paste URL here. Place the URL here. Go. Okay, go down, Baba. Paste URL. Okay, this is the URL which the student will see, but it will only be active between nine to like normal class. Okay, go and save, save and display. So activity completion here. Click here. Always this one. Mark activity when condition are met, which means they attended the class. Okay, so the competency you go down. Save and display. Okay, tag is actually used for hashtag, but don't use that because if you hashtag it, it when you do a Google search, you will find it on Google, and then you will find other people attending your lecture who are not in your because if you hashtag it will be searchable on Twitter unless you want to become famous on Twitter. <laughs> How many of you all use the YouTube to save your lecture to account for? You are using YouTube for teaching, teaching for YouTube, no teaching tube. You'll use YouTube for teaching. Any of YouTube? Because we have YouTube inside the in our Google and our UMS account, so you can just uh, do your live lecture on YouTube. But YouTube won't count in the system. It won't calculate the time. Okay, same and display. You all have right? Melissa also have YouTube right? Zatur also have YouTube right? Didn't create okay. Wait, wait for a while, okay? Okay, 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 okay. It should be done, okay? Just, just, just to, it's okay. This one you can you go to the lecture one and refresh. Uh, that one, that one, yeah. Okay, so you can see now. You go down, and then you'll see. 
okay so you see the big blue button here b you see the show b so the student have to become familiar with the system they may take one semester to know but usually the young people they will grasp it fast so if you do this there's no need of the lecture you can put big blue button demo you can you go out on field trip prof can go out on field trip and then you can do your lecture from anywhere lahad or to anywhere where there's a internet connection you can do it so you click here okay you you click here all of you click here see what's going to happen you click here and wait for the lecture to start so you you start your lecture session has ended right because you just wait you just wait you just wait you just wait for the lecturer so big It's okay, so just click the blue. Click, sir. The big blue. Just click big blue button. Your big blue. Your your the lecturer, right? Yeah. Click on your big blue. So so now I'm the lecturer. I have created my big blue button. I start my class. Zul will start and turn the camera and microphone on. Okay. So it will turn the camera and mic. Now regarding lecture note, right? You have any nota nota, Zul? You have any PDF? Ah yeah. Okay. Wait 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Big blue button. Zul is joining the lecture. Okay. So Zul is that lecturer. He will join with the microphone. The student can join with the audio, but they can also join with microphone and audio. I will show you how it's done. Okay. So if you all join, wait, wait. For the echo test. Testing. You need to do this. Okay. Okay. So okay. Wait for a while. Okay. Zul, you you okay? Now you have to thumb. Okay, to 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 public chat to to this one you to do. Okay, you need to add your nota to this right. You add the nota using plus this plus button. You can add PDF. Don't add PowerPoint because if you add PowerPoint, the the animation will not work. Okay, you can only add PDF. You can add PowerPoint, but you lose your animation. Okay, so he'll just add the nota. Just add any nota, Zul. Any of how? Anything from the office? You just add anything. any simple stuff don't add too big huh? because uploading will be a problem don't have you have my lecture note actually just add something any pdf are you cl some perical logo right lc this said are you air policy you can add that also no oh, this this uh, ppt x will be very long it will be very big click the iur policy policy ah yeah anyone i just said okay just said he'll just add one page i'll show you how it works okay so upload so this has to be done before your lecture don't do it during the lecture because it takes time so you do it like uh, one hour before your lecture or maybe even in the night before your lecture you can upload and start the classroom will only come when it's ready Okay, so okay done right? Okay, now he will start the class. Give it for okay. Now everyone can see this. Can you all see in your see your big blue button? Is it showing? Okay, close. Just to just to yes, just say okay. Okay, say yes, and then close. Okay. Now Zul is actually going to give the lecture. Zul, you mute all user. Mute all user. Okay. So basically, when you mute all user, it means all the student cannot join the class as a class. Or they will be screaming. So we have a synchronization problem. Now Zul has joined the class. You can turn on your camera. Okay. So you turn on your camera. So here there's a button: microphone, camera, no screen. Okay. So now Zul camera will be there. So we'll find a webcam. Okay. Face. Okay. Start sharing. Start sharing. Okay. Now his picture. You, that's the lecturer in the camera, so you can sit in your class and you can deliver the lecture. Okay, in the, in the in the setting. Okay, now these are the big blue button slide. Okay, so you can upload, so you can move the slide. So if your Zul is the lecturer, he can move the slide. Okay, don't click here. Just okay, click here, move the slide. So you can move to slide two. You can move to slide three. So your PDF slide will come here, and you can just move through them one by one. Okay, now suppose Zul wants to draw on the slide. He got an annotation button here. Click on pen. Okay, you can annotate the slide directly. You can draw onto the slide. Your student will see all this, and because it is light, right? It doesn't matter for connectivity. Your student can be sitting in the in the bus, traveling to your <laughs> lecture. They miss the miss the. They don't have to worry about time because the system is recording the attendance. 
Only thing they'll have to put their headphone on, they'll have to listen to a lecture. So you can draw. Okay. Now, if you are doing a group, uh, uh, if you are doing, for example, you divide your class into groups, right? Okay. It's a holiday time and you are sitting in your uh, room and the student, you assign a group assignment. So you want them to present one, one lecture, one slide. So 10 students are presenting, 10 uh, a group presentation. You all, have you all used analytics in Smart 2 to check your student? No. So this is there actually in Smart 2, but here it's more <coughs> elaborate. And we have a heat map and graphics as well. Okay, so this one check. So it's actually found under administration at the bottom of your page in something known as reports. All the reports are there. Live log, activity. So live logs is to check your class who's active in your class. You can always click here. Okay, so whoever is, and so you have analytics graphs. So click here as well. I, I think these functions do not work. So content, uh, now, okay, content activities, the content access. You can get analytics graph. Okay, so you can see you click on the assignment. You click all, Samo. All, all. You click all. All, all, all. all, all, all. Then you build graph. build graph. Let's see if it, the function working. Click. It will create a report. So this one you can actually put in your table. Well, sorry, in your course file courses. Uh, you see, everyone's there. So you have access to your class. You know, because our, the problem with us when 50 student or 100 student, the problem we don't know who is active in that in that cohort of 100 but when you do this you know so the analytics feature is there because now analytics is being used for teaching and learning and almost everything even from uh, grab to all the, the apps are using analytics so this one helps you to analyze how many people came how many people attended assignment how many all in graphic format okay so it's you print it out it goes in your file so no problem about documentation okay okay it's accountability and integrity at the end of the day so we use the system itself. Okay, so we go on to the last function which I want to teach you all now. What's the time zone? I don't want to exceed your time. Okay, so I'm going to teach you all the last function uh, before we break because you all have to, Sumbayang, everyone praying. So we have to go into the last function which will be H5P. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I have one question regarding yeah. the recording just now. Hmm. Is there any function to display the lecture note? Yes, there is. You want to display lecture note, I go to, big, but the problem is we don't have a lecture note you'll have to use my lecture notes you'll have to go to my thing i'll show you how to, i'll download my lecture note and i will show you how you have to log into your account no no no, no. you go to my smart 2 ms you can download my smart 2 uh, smart 2 smart 2 go to that download my lecture note uh -huh. yeah, go down 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 it's down, 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 down okay that one introduction to your course download okay so this is the i'm going to show you with my own lecture notes so i'm going to download because zul is using his personal computer so we don't have lecture note inside so I'll download this, download it, download this lecture note, okay? Download. Okay, you just download, save, save. Okay, I'll show you. Go to big blue button, okay, okay, start. It should be active again. Actually, do you all use the UMS Adobe Spark system? We have Adobe Spark. You have you used Adobe Spark? Actually, UMS ha also has many free fee free accounts which they have purchased for us, and they have spent a lot on those accounts. So one of them is Adobe Spark. You can go and see Adobe Spark. Okay, Spark can be used to create lecture notes instantly. Normally, in the PowerPoint, you have to keep adjusting and moving and all right. In Spark, you can just key in; it will automatically adjust for you. It's got an AI, artificial intelligence. You can insert images and stuff like that. So you try and open an Adobe Spark account. If you cannot open an account, you contact the Avang Lamsari at the Oh, you contact us, you contact Zulfadli or me and then we will assign you an Adobe Spark account if you cannot uh, Spark. Spark. Are you all using Spark? No, none of you all use Spark. Actually, have you all seen on, okay, I'll give you an example of Spark. Have you seen on Facebook, they suddenly make a picture and then below that there's a, some wording, the tulis, like Puisi and all. Actually, use Adobe Spark. You can use that. So, because the images are free and shareable and then you just attach your stuff to that. Okay, so coming down to your question, so we want to create lecture, right? You add here, add, oh, add lecture note here, upload a presentation, okay, and then you click drag and drop. So where's the, this one? Uh, just, just, just talak and push inside. Just push inside, okay. Okay, so that's it, okay. So upload, upload, sudah. Okay, so bigger, bigger file, more uh, time. So 60 lecture, 60 pages will take time. Will take, okay, 16 pages. Okay. 
if you have animation it won't work please okay so it, if animation files will not work in the system it will out outdoor okay okay upload confirm <coughs> okay that's done so now this is the lecture so you can move through a lecture so all the lecture notes will be here so you move you talk you move so you move on display uh, it puts up all that so you have your introduction your standard objective learning outcomes are uh, they all that so what is the level what lecture whatever is there so just what will you learn just go through so you can mark you can mark so this one can be used for broadcasting live okay so you have assessment so what is your assessment you move to this are just a standard slider mid term and then whichever content so you just put okay so and so on and so forth so you, it's understood right how you basically okay so i just close okay so we do that house okay okay done close to the thank you just go